Doyle with three to shoot. Doyle with the crossover to Crooms inside and one. She loves these moments. Olinger going to go all the oh way with power. And they find Sinato deep into the lane in the end one. Doyle getting penetration. She'll pull up. Difficult shot. Splash. Defense in her face. She just does not care. Just some of the Iowa Hawkeye highlights to a year that has brought them to an 11-2 Big Ten record. That means they sit in first place with Maryland. And that means that matchup between Iowa and Maryland, you can see it Thursday right here on BTN. And we just so happen to have Iowa head coach Lisa Bluter standing by to talk about that matchup. Coach, thank you for joining us. Now, we in the media kind of like to hype up games like this. I'm curious how you coach your players to games like this. Yeah, you know, I think we try to tame that down a little bit. Uh, you don't want to put a whole lot more emphasis on any one game over another. Uh, I think you guys do a pretty good job of that, and so I don't need to add that added burden to my players. Uh, you know, we just want to go out there. Uh, we know, you know, Maryland doesn't lose many games in their home court, and so we're going to go out there, give it our best shot, and play Iowa basketball. And I think the last week we've, we've played really good Iowa basketball. Well, I'd like to, to go back to that first meeting on, on January 9th, and, and you had even admitted to me that the box score was not a typical one for a team that, that wins a game, right? In particular, the 38 offensive rebounds outscored by 22 in the paint in your mind when you go back and look at that matchup how did you guys win that game you know it was crazy i mean honestly both both teams uh, neither of us shot the ball very well um it just we had a few more go down but you're right when you give up that many opportunities uh for another team to shoot the basketball it usually doesn't turn out very good for you so uh, we were pretty thankful to come out of that after giving up that many O boards uh, and just glad that defensively we did a pretty good job. And I'm curious, how many times do you show the 38 offensive rebounds to your team prepping this week? I told them I wasn't going to tell them the number. I told them it was bad. They remember it was bad. I wasn't going to tell them the exact number, so I, I have you to thank for that, Lisa. How about Maryland, though? They haven't lost actually since that game against you guys. In, in your mind, from the opposing coach's perspective, how have they gotten better since they lost to you in early January? I, don't, I think they're more aggressive right now. I feel like they're being more aggressive defensively, especially it seems like on their home court. But also, just the three-point shooting has really come along. Uh, when we played them the first time, they weren't shooting the three ball very well, and now they really are. And that opens up things a lot, quite a bit for them. You said that you like the way your team is playing in the last week, and, and there have been several reasons to the key to your success here this year. And, and at the top of that list has to be Kathleen Doyle, who's now becoming the headline for maybe some possible postseason honors for her we've seen what she's been able to do on the court but coach Bluter, maybe give us some perspective of something that we don't know about Kathleen Doyle that you see every day um, she's actually really goofy and uh, you know loves to dance loves to have fun um, you can tell she's a very you know loud uh, very you know out out uh, outward just very expressive type of kid um, so maybe you already know those things, but she, she plays that way, as you can tell. I mean, she just plays all out, and I think that's been a big difference for us this year is she just doesn't take possessions off. She's kind of taken off where Megan left last year for us, and just giving that work ethic, giving that all-out effort every single time she's out on the floor, whether it's practice, whether it's games, uh, and she's just really taken her game to a whole new level, in my opinion. If you were to win on, against Maryland, would you take any dancing lessons from her in the locker room, maybe? Believe me, they would not want to see that. That would be ugly. So we're, we're going to stay away from that. Okay. Appreciate the honesty. And, of course, we appreciate the time. Thank you, Coach Bluter. Thanks, Lisa.